There are a few ways in which you can share a single project between Amethyst and the Adobe Flash IDE. By that I mean an IDE such as Flash CS4, CS5 or later. In this short video I want to illustrate two possible ways of doing this. One way requires that you have both Amethyst and the Flash IDE installed on the same computer. The other way shows how to use Amethyst to edit and debug Flash IDE compatible projects even if you haven't actually got the Flash IDE installed. Let me explain that way first. Now this way assumes that you've downloaded and installed an Adobe Flex SDK. You need to create a new ActionScript project. You select File, New Project and you pick an ActionScript project for whichever version of the Flex SDK you happen to be using. You need to specify the SDK because even though you won't be using the Flex class library, you will be compiling using the Flex MXML compiler. And now you write your code. To save time, I'm going to make this as simple as possible. Just a very simple program that creates a variable greet, the string hello world, and then a call to trace so that it displays its value when I'm debugging. And I can test this out in Amethyst by starting debugging, setting a breakpoint, and when the debugger session starts, I can then use features such as the watch window, or here I'm just going to use hover and evaluate, so I can hover over the variable greet to check what its value is. Now let's see how to use the code which I just wrote in Amethyst in the Flash IDE. First, I create a new Flash IDE ActionScript 3 project and I save it in the same directory as the ActionScript code which I created in Amethyst. And I set its class file to my code file name. Once I've done that, I can run the same code which I created in Amethyst in the Flash IDE and I can switch between one IDE and the other in order to use the special features of both of them. And this is a good way to share a project, either if you happen to be a Flex developer or if you don't own a copy of the Flash IDE but you need to share your code with someone who does. Now let's look at another way of sharing a project. This time let's assume you've already got an existing project that's been created in the Flash IDE. Again, for the purposes of demonstration I'm keeping this simple but the same workflow applies to much more complex projects. If you want to be able to debug this in Amethyst, be sure to enable the Flash Publish Settings Permit Debugging option. Now I go into Amethyst and I'll start the Conversion Wizard. This lets me convert a Flash IDE project in its original location. Now when I do this it imports the code and it also imports the FLA file that was created in the Flash IDE. This time, when I debug from within Amethyst, Amethyst automatically runs the Flash IDE compiler. And when it does this, if I've got breakpoints in Amethyst, I hit my breakpoints as usual, and I can now use all the features of the Amethyst debugger to drill down and look inside the various objects in my program. So converting in this way is a good way to share a project when your code's already been developed using the Flash IDE. And when you convert a project in this way, you don't need to use the Flex SDK at all, as you are using the Flash IDE compiler, not the Flex MXML compiler. For more in-depth guides to sharing projects between Amethyst and the Flash IDE, and for guides to all the other features of Amethyst, see the videos which are listed on the Amethyst Tutorials page on the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com